Hi Sagis, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to Sagittarius Tarot and another weekly reading. This reading will be looking at the week from the 25th of April till the 2nd of May. So without further ado, let us check first what is the theme or dominating energy um, regarding this week. From Rose. Meditation brings answers. And so with this card, it is very important to tap into your intuition. There's something here that you're looking for. Maybe you are trying to tap into your trust um, when it comes to the timing of something or an individual, whether this is you trying to figure out a solution, trying to calm down your mind, calm down the noise in order for you to find a certain answers. This week really is all about you trying to seek that clarity. Nice. And answers are to be provided to you by life, right? Like you're going to get them. All you need to do is meditate. This could be taking some time out. This could be playing some meditation music some guided meditation, this could be time away in nature, just silence time, time alone, maybe listening to music, maybe looking at the stars, um, however that is, it is that exercise that will bring you answers. This is like so a lot more like the hermit energy with the light here shining upon you, if you notice. Um, you got this upright. You're gonna get. You're gonna have the answers you want, Sagis. You're gonna get the answers you want. Now let us see um, something that will come easy to you this week. All right, a year from now in reverse. So something that you wanted last year, right? That you had set your eyes on last year is going to come very easy to you this this week okay this could be something on your shopping wish list this could be a word that you wanted to tell someone this could be um something like an action that you wanted to take maybe a fear that you wanted to overcome maybe an answer right that you you kept looking for last year and you weren't able to find it clearly. So something along those lines, right? Something from last year is going to really come easy to you this week. Now, let us look at something that will prove to be challenging this week. Hmm. The Queen of Swords. Yeah, something that will be challenging, I think, is being able to um, communicate your thoughts clearly without um, someone feeling oversensitive about them or without them, you know, feeling too blunt for people. So I think your bluntness is going to be a little bit challenging this week. Um, you're not your usual charming, probably, um, funny diplomatic self, I'm going to say. Um, maybe your words will cut like a sword. Um, and so this is really challenging for you. And I want you to just try to tame it down a bit. It's not going to be the easiest, but just try to breathe and try to, you know, um, allow yourself you know, some time to think before you utter whatever piece of advice or opinion um, that you need. Something definitely with this is not that you usually do it, but just in case you felt a penchant to give unsolicited advice, don't because it's just going to prove a little bit trickier this week. Um, as much as your communication is clear but the feedback it's getting or the resonance or the reviews or whatever might not be you know the smoothest possible now we're gonna take a look at the potential 
that the weak possesses. It is the two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. The, the good thing is that this week has you very laser focused. If you were titter-tattering last week and if you were very indecisive all over the place and trying to juggle way too many things, I see you here like very focused this week. And even if you were overwhelmed and doesn't mean you're not going to be able to attack and conquer all that to-do list, right? But the way I see you do it is like one thing at a time. You're taking one step at a time. You're crossing off that list one thing at a time. And that's where the power of your focus lies because you're like, all right, let's put these 20 things in front of us. I'm going to start with this one. Let's, let's do this. Let's, let's stop with this. Let's postpone this. Let's tackle this. Let us communicate here. Let us do this, right? Um, and so you are very focused. And if, right, because this is the potential of the week. So if you are diligent, if you are dedicated, if you are really um, you know, putting that laser focus towards every single task instead of going back and forth, you'll be able to accomplish a lot in this week. And I mean it, a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay? Um, by the way, I'm going to also be shedding the light a little bit about the Queen of Swords. If you notice in this card, in the Deviant Moon Tarot, um, there is like a tear that's coming out of her eye and on the sword there is still like some blood dripping indicating that words might have in the past hurt you somewhere and you still a little bit feel like not feeling 100% right over something maybe that was said to you last week and what this is saying and this goes perfectly with astrology because currently um, Lilith which is in Virgo, is trining Jupiter, which is in Taurus. And this really talks all about self-love and self-compassion, right? Because this is not a time for you to feel any sort of self-pity or victimize yourself. Whatever is said was said, whatever is done was done. This is a time for you to heal. And when it's in Virgo, it talks about healing literally in the mic like from the big picture to the microscopic level to details right and this means you have to be very thorough and very diligent and look really deep towards any sort of details that still irk you and try to you know move on from them and the fact that jupiter is in taurus this talks about a slow profit process but it will give you guaranteed results right so I love this energy for you. Now let us continue and see what sort of like action can you take um, part of your action plan this week to drive these results, right? And so you get with it the page of wands in reverse. And for me, this is talking about Okay, so this is, this is a time for you where your actions need to be um, as efficient and as productive as possible versus innovation. So this is not a week to recreate the steps that you usually take or to come up with a very innovative, creative, out of the box, you know, action plan towards anything you're trying to accomplish. This is a week where you need to take proven steps that you did in the past, proven actions that you know they give you this result, right? Um, and just keep on doing them. It's like repetitive moves, repetitive steps, or steps that you have taken in the past and proved to, you know, to be very good and to drive results. That's what you need to repeat and emulate this week. This is not a week to get very creative and change up your action plan because if you end up doing that what you'll be doing is like you'll be wasting all that time and energy and effort 
on to recreating and strategizing and you'll you'll end up doing nothing so this is really not you know advice just like i said here you had this focused energy just start to cross off things off your to-do list one thing at a time i love this okay let us look at the advice from the tarot what would that advice look like it is the nine of cups in reverse and this is talking about small steps mini steps detailed steps virgo energy um this is really talking about not being too greedy not looking at things from an expansive point of view okay and so what this is really saying is that the key to success this week literally lies in the details and in the little small things, right? Um, in clearing your inbox, in checking your junk emails, in organizing these things, in attacking your to-do list, in following up on your social calendars, in making these phone calls and sending these voice notes to people, in sending these emails, in doing all these little things at work. Sometimes like you have like so many little tasks, right, before you attack the big creative projects you have like so many tasks when it comes to the household to just do all the errands all the chores um put everything back on track you know this is not this is a time to be very very practical it's looking like a very practical week and that's what i want you to focus on and this is what's what it's advising you like you have all these little wishes that can come true um don't worry about the big picture right now now let us look at the result of this week and what is the gift from the universe for you if you play your cards right pun not intended okay daydream I love it because this really goes also with the meditation, brings awareness, uh, brings answers, and it is upright as well. You will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. And yeah, so here... Um, this really also goes along the practical message that I was telling you in what sense in sort of like all that's needed to you is like every now and then in between all these tasks, errands, um, to do lists and things that you're doing, you're going to take a breaks, right? And during these breaks, all you need to do is just to daydream and the downloads will come to you that's the gift of the universe for you this week you know like once you finish all of this you're gonna get a major download of of creativity something creative that you're gonna think about and then next week you're gonna take that and start implementing it on your big wishes and on things that are unique and innovative and special to you and things that will be happening a year from now so you see, like, there is a time and place. There's a context for everything. And if you get all your shit done, right, this week, while you rest, you'll get these downloads and these things. And without even trying to brainstorm or trying to be creative and, or trying to whatever, you'll get those downloads. And then you resume next week attacking the bigger things. Why? Because you already cleared everything cleared your schedule cleared everything took care of everything that needed to be taken care of this week and you're not carrying it with you next week because if you did carry it with you it's going to feel heavy you're, you're going to be overwhelmed overthinking you're not going to be able to have enough clarity right um and so that is something beautiful now let us look at um some clarifiers just to, to feel to see like more information about all of this so we're gonna get a second message from meditations 
meditation brings answers for the theme of the week. You get with it, helpful people. I love this. This is talking about you know a lot of people showing up to help you. Um, so whether this is your agent, your broker, your lawyer, your doctor, whatever, whether you're just talking to them, they're going to be without you even asking, suggesting to you during a normal conversation, suggesting to you solutions that you maybe you never thought of or you never dared to ask or you were hesitant or whatever, that will be really suiting you. Also, this is telling you that you need to reach out to people. Anyone you reach out to, to ask for help, whether to come up with an idea, whether to help you um, plan something or whether to help you implement something, whatever it is, family, friends, professionals, acquaintances, people on the street, strangers, people are going to help you. And that's really, that's really beautiful. That is really beautiful. You know, like com the combination and these are two different energies, right? Because this is also talking about the balance, the balance of having time with people who will prove to be very helpful and then allowing yourself also some time alone in order to meditate and tap into that intuition to bring you more answers. And so I feel here that the answers, the clarity lies when, it, when you are alone, but the help when it comes to the practical aspect of this week is going to come from helpful people. Sweet. Now let's look. Um, uh, let's look at that um, something that doesn't come easy for you, which was something that, right? It is something that you carried from last year, and this week it's going to come really easy to you. That's very exciting. Opportunity, yeah. <laughs> so nice, so nice. Okay, so you see, maybe last year you, hmm. so maybe last year, right? This could be interpreted in two different ways. Either you have had a shit ton of opportunities or you were struggling to find the right opportunities. Um, but this week is going to prove really amazing because you're going to have all these opportunities flowing to you, right? Just flowing to you. So this is either reminiscing of last year's energy or this is, you know, finally the opportunities that you were fighting to get or feeling like it's, it was too hard for you to attract or manifest or tap into. This week, they're just going to flow. They're just going to be so easy. Like, you don't even have to try. Opportunity is just like knocking on your door. How beautiful. How beautiful. Now, let us talk a little bit more about your something challenging with the Queen of Swords. And so, it was your bluntness, right? Let us see what it is. You know, another layer to that. And it was the Seven of Cups in reverse yeah and i think something that will prove to be challenging is not only your bluntness but also to focus on one topic i see you really spread out with your communication so it's really like you're talking left and right up and down um, north, south, east, west, whatever you want to call it, right? You're talking about so many interests, about so many things, about plenty of things. And so sometimes that sort of dil dilutes your message, right? Um, and you're not being able to articulate probably for the best in for all, you know, points of interest. Also, this could be talking to like... Um, so it would be really challenging to just focus on how to say it, like because for me that also like tells me maybe maybe what's what's gonna be challenging for you also is to be able to 
adapt your communication properly to different people and different cultures, different tones and different variations, which is something usually you probably excel at, but maybe this week is going to prove a little bit more problematic or challenging in order to be able to adapt to that. To that. Um, yeah. I also think it's it's going to be um, challenging for you as well to pick one passion or one hobby or one focal interest and communicate deeply into that. So your communication is going to feel a little bit more touching the skin, the surface of things. And so it, this might find you a little bit like you know, frustrated. Um, let's just say, um, for me, it look, it doesn't look like your communication this week is your strongest forte, although usually it is. This week is just going to be a little bit, you know, touch and go. Also, what this is telling you is that you might be too blunt with other people. And so I just want you to not burst their bubble, right? Because this can represent people having so many dreams, right? And you you can see the big picture, so you know that this is not realistic to achieve all of that, let's say. But it's not your responsibility or your role to, to pinpoint that harshly to them because maybe they're not there. Maybe they have to go through the process themselves before, you know, they get to that conclusion. If you come here with your Sagittarius bluntness and confront them and be like, as they are excitingly like telling you, Oh, I'm going to do this and this and this and this. And you're going to burst that bubble. Be like, no, this is unrealistic. This is not going to happen. This is a, maybe you should focus yourself there. Your intention is good towards them, right? Like you're trying to advise them. But I think while doing that, you are bursting their bubble. You are crushing their dreams. And you'll only hurt them or startle them. And that's not something I want you to do. So you might feel a little bit challenging to refrain yourself from doing that, right? Because you're going to feel inclined to do that but just remember the that you know just remember this image because if you end up your intentions are good but you end up hurting them look at the blood on the sword coming out of your ideas and so that will make you that will make you a little bit sad too right because that was not your intention the road to hell is, is paved with good intentions so i would refrain from bursting other people's bubbles i would refrain from bluntness i would refrain from all of that. Now let us look at the potential that the week holds. It was the two of pentacles, which was like laser focus, and the nine of cups in reverse again. See, again, you get it here too. So this is the potential of the week. And I and I already said that this is another confirmation from the cards. This is all about not only like being laser focused, but also about the little things, the little dreams, the simple pleasures of life. You know, it doesn't have to be something huge, something big. This week is all about these little moments, these little things, these little moments of joy, this little bliss, um, the little things. And also being able to be practical and accomplish these little things and be proud of yourself every single day. It's all about your daily routine rather than like big grand gestures. Um, yeah. Also, what this is telling me is that maybe also this week might like being indoors might prove to be, you know, good for you. Like maybe later on you'll, you can venture more outdoors. But this week might have a potential for you to accomplish a lot and find a lot of pleasures by staying indoors, by, you know, um, taking care of your house, taking care of your garden, um, your plants, your animals, your kids, your spouses, your partners, making everything, making sure everything is, you know, cooking, making sure everything is clean and organized and nice and comfy, um, finalizing, like, finishing all the, that, those paperwork, maybe cleaning up the closets, maybe, I don't know, there's so many things that you can do. And I see like 
also like replying to those emails, replying to those emails, all of that. I see you really like enjoying that, like taking a pleasure out of it as well. Now let us look about your action plan. You remember when I was telling you that the actions need to be more practical and you should do stuff that proved to be in the past um, efficient. This is not a time to innovate and create new steps. So let us look at that. And with that, you get the King of Cups. Yeah, I think exactly. Um, you, you are able to masterfully control your emotions this week. And this is even giving you more power to do these repetitive, practical, almost robotic actions um, that really will be able, like your productivity will soar through the roof. And this is all because you have complete master of your emotion, right? Um, because this is not the time to shake the boat and come up with new things. Because whenever we do venture into new things and we take a risk, sometimes a lot of feelings bubble up with that, fears and other stuff that might rock us a little bit. And of course, it is part of the process of diving into something new. But this is why I don't want you to do that because this is the action. This week is the, the, less, the less you're going to rock the boat and the more you're going to do something that it is already proved and tried for, the more you're going to be able to stay in control of your emotions and just focus on the practical things. Now, the advice of the card was the Nine of Cups in reverse, and it was like to focus on the small things, um, on the small steps, on the little accomplishments. And so what else do we get with that? The advice of the cards exactly are asking you to, while you focus on these little things, there is that one um, sort of like... With the Page of Wands, this is telling me, first of all, to focus on positive news, right? This is the advice of the cards. So if there is any negative news on the media, try to steer clear this week. Try to tune out. If there are negative Nellies or Debbie Downers or anyone who you know are, you know, all the time being negative, try to steer clear from them. This is telling you to embrace a positive outlook and to also um, tune in more towards positive things. So like watch comedies, watch funny things, read positive news, do affirmations, um, just anything that has the potential to be positive, embrace that. This is also talking about planning something of a creative nature. And so... Um, this really feels strong also, like sort of supports the daydreaming as well. So you can allow yourself this week and you should allow yourself this week to just be, be planning your next adventure when it comes to anything in regards to your energy. This could be traveling, this could be um, like rekindling a sexual spark, this could be tapping into fun again all sorts of things and so really the advice exactly if you, these two combined if you look at them it is to focus on the little things accomplish the little things accomplish the little wishes um do all of that right and at the same time be remain open and also just try to focus on your attention towards the like positive energy, positive news, and plan out things that are fun um, or energizing. Now, uh, last, what was that? Oh, maybe that was, okay, yeah. So the last card, we're gonna clarify the um, daydream card, which was the result, right? Um, here, like if you look, he is looking upwards to the sky, sort of daydreaming about all the possibilities that he can accomplish now that he took care of all that was pending.
the ocean. Nice, and it is also upright. So, the deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean, allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. And so with these two cards, what I love about it is it is the combination of the mind and the intuition and the heart and the emotions because the ocean represents the ocean, uh, the, um, the emotions. And here the wings are down and here the wings are up. This is telling you allow yourself to fly, honor your emotions, do whatever feels right for you. Um, allow yourself to daydream and the possibility to dream big, right, about your next adventures. Um, it, the result is also whether you spend time by the beach this week or just walk along the beach or just look at the ocean or just also, you know, it could be in a pool, in an inside, indoor pool, outdoors pool. It could be taking long hot showers, cold showers, whatever it is, like the element of water, right, drinking lots of water. This is very good. And you also, since like water represents emotions and you have here also the King of Cups, I told you you are mastering your emotions. You are in complete control of your emotions. And that is amazing, amazing. That's a beautiful, beautiful result. Um, I see you like having an awesome week, Sajis. Having an awesome week. Thank you for listening. Thank you to, for watching till the end. Thank you for sharing my video by clicking the share button. Thank you for subscribing. If you did not subscribe, please click the subscribe button at the end of this video on the Sagittarius logo icon. It helps my work reach a wider audience. Thank you for your love and support. Stay blessed, aligned and connected. I love you. Mm -hmm.